Guys, I gotta be honest with you. Valve has really been pissing me the hell off lately. Their treatment of their customer and player base is just absolutely unacceptable. And I'm really pissed off about it. And in this unscripted video, I am just going to be giving you my unfiltered thoughts. So just a heads up in advance, I, I apologize if I sound more angry than usual in this video. But as I'm sure many of you are aware, uh, there has been a lot of discussion happening lately in the Team Fortress 2 space concerning Valve and all of this other stuff. But I want to go to even before that, to the summer of 2022, when this hashtag Save TF2 movement happened. Me and a bunch of other creators and the fans of and players of TF2 as well all went on Twitter and voiced our concerns about the state of TF2. TF2 with the bots and everything. We did get some attention in that aspect uh, from a single tweet that just turned out to be an outright fucking lie. Nothing has really been done about the bot issue since then. It, it got a little bit better there for a second, but now we're just back to shit storm levels of insanity when it comes to these servers. And that brings us to today. A small update was released on January 9th and ever since then, the item servers have been down. You cannot use your items at all in any sort of casual server. I believe they affect community servers as well. I don't play community servers a whole lot anymore. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I believe it affects them too. So it is 100% stock weapons only. And it's not like this has never happened before, right? I mean, we've had periods where the item servers have been messed up and yada yada. I have been playing TF2 since like 2008. I cannot recall it being this long, especially with no no communication at all, ever. Like it, with Valve, there is never anything. They just think it's perfectly fine to just give the people that have spent thousands of dollars on keys and cosmetics in this game, the middle finger. No, every other company in the world that has servers like this, if they go out, even like two, the 2Ks of the world that have the shittiest servers imaginable that are run off of a goddamn potato. They will at least send out a tweet saying, hey, we know there's an issue right now. We're looking into it. We'll let you know when it's fixed. But with Valve, it's just nothing. And on top of that, with these item servers being down and with the bots fucking everywhere, they go ahead and decide it's a good idea to take down fan projects like Team Fortress 2, the Source 2 thing, and the Portal 64 fan creations. Don't get me wrong. I understand they are completely in their legal right to do so. But you're not fucking doing anything with these properties. The the Portal one, I can kind of understand a little more because it was using like some Nintendo things or whatever. You know, that's fine. But the Source 2 stuff, if you're not gonna port it to Source 2 or do anything with it, why don't you hire these guys to do it for you? It, it, that brings up another comment I get a lot. Oh, well, it, it's an old game. No one wants to work anymore. And I call bullshit on that. For those of you that don't know a whole lot about me, I work as a software developer full time. And I can tell you, no matter how old the system is, there is going to be someone that's interested in it. We still have people working on like cobalt systems. Okay, and that hasn't been relevant in forever. I guarantee you there are people out there with a computer science degree or whatever like these people who were making the source 2 project the people who made team fortress 2 classic why don't you hire some of these people to create content to create updates for your game and i wouldn't be nearly as upset about this except for the fact that they're still releasing cases and keys every summer and every winter they are still making a profit off of this they are still making money off of this I tried to play a couple games today and just ran into nothing but bot lobbies. Nothing. I, I had one, one good game on Upward. And even then, it was so fucked. It was an unbalanced 12v6 shit fest. I know I've done a lot of yelling in this video and I apologize for that, but as a content creator for this game, the frustration I feel trying to make fucking videos for this game is just overwhelming. I know you guys feel it too when you join a casual game and you run into bots. Yes, it's annoying. But when you try to make content for this game and for the first 30 minutes of your like recording session, you're running into nothing but these shit lobbies and you have gotten nothing productive done when trying to make a video 
for your fan base is so fucking annoying and demoralizing. It's part of the reason why I haven't really been making a whole lot of videos in the last half of 2023. Because if I have an hour of free time, do I really want to fucking spend it wasting that time doing nothing but running into bot lobbies? And I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. And before someone comments, oh, we'll just go play community servers. I shouldn't have to do that. That is not a solution. How about Valve, the company that's worth $7.7 .7 billion dollars hires a couple people to take care of these issues. They could certainly hire lawyers to take down fan creations of stuff using their IPs. So they can hire a couple developers because lawyers are a hell of a lot more expensive than developers. I've made videos like this in the past where I'm just kind of trashing on Valve. And I understand I'm never gonna get invited to Valve headquarters or whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I, you wanna know what I want? I want TF2 to be playable again. I don't even need like major updates anymore. Just give us a little, a little something. There's ideas out there everywhere. There's people still making fan created stuff, fan created concepts and ideas for this game. So the fact that, oh, no one's interested in working on it is just complete and utter horse shit. Don't, don't believe that nonsense. This rant video isn't just the spawn of the item servers being out. It's the combination of the bots being a constant issue, a constant fucking issue. The lack of communication. Oh, but don't worry, guys. They, they love TF2 just as much as we do, apparently. Do they? I don't know what Valve is anymore. This is not the Valve that made Half-Life 2, that made TF2, that made Left 4 Dead. This is not them. They are not the same Valve anymore. The Valve that exists now is a soulless corporate entity. You know what? And I want to address one thing. I don't mean for this video to be a personal attack on any developer working at Valve. I'm talking about the corporate entity that Valve exists as in 2024. It's absolutely unacceptable. If you don't want to support the game anymore, stop putting microtransactions in it. Stop making money off of it. It's unfair to anyone that's bought a key and opened a case. It's unfair to anyone who's bought an MVM ticket. It's unfair to all of those people. Anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. I'm really frustrated, and it's equally as frustrating being a content creator for this game. So with that said, I plan on putting out that Class Wars video that you guys voted on out soon. Um, probably next week. I'll see you then.